If you say Fast and Furious one more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Fine. I am afraid that we're gonna call back in that well because you're gonna remember one more I, stupid fact. I can't. I can't really think of other like prime examples. In my, I guess horror movies in general are really good at. And I had a life, and my life was working in a capitalist God, dystopian God. nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I will find a way. Every, um, it's fast. Sorry. It's got to be um, to Nick. It's this capitalist guy <laughs> dystopia for you. Welcome to All Topics No Pizza, where we start with a single idea, then add new topics until we miss our exit on the highway. I am Matt, also known as Ruminous. I'm just Dion. And I'm here for family. And the power of a car. The name's Dominic Toretto. I just want everybody to know that I was outvoted. <laughs> I specifically yeah. wanted to get rid of the Fast and Furious forever on this podcast. Uh, now it's in the intro. Every, every, every other time we're prepping to record, we talk about Fast and Furious for like... Literally we half don't, an hour. We, don't bring me into your <laughs> shit. I specifically just sit there on the sidelines. I try to make jokes, but it grows old real quick yeah, for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I haven't uh, seen any yeah. Fast Furious movie besides the first one, and that's what I was like. I eight, Admit, five? Admittedly, I, I stopped watching Fast and the Furious after Tokyo Drift because I realized, oh my shit, these movies are garbage. It took you that long to figure I, it out. I've, seen the most I've recent never seen one, any other movie besides one? Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. <laughs> <laughs> I've also seen them all the way up into Tokyo Drift, and then none of the rest of them, and then the ninth one, and now I just have a hate boner for the entire series, and I won't stop talking so, about uh, it. Because because our, our pre our pre recorded conversation led us to this, I I need to let people know the chronological order of Fast and the Furious, and Matt will say it's not a need, it's a want, but I need to let people know that there are no. nine of these stupid fucking movies that range from here a bunch of car thieves to here are a bunch of car thieves trying to save the planet from some secret agent spy bullshit that makes no sense. So here because we go. Because you know, that makes sense. No, no, no. 2001, you got Fast and the Furious. 2003, you got two. That's a number two. Fast, two, Furious. Two, Furious. Then 2009 uh, I, I remember is the that third one movie in the, in the chronological order, which is just Fast and Furious. And in 2000... What? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, 2000. Wait, wait, say so, that again. So, so it goes one, two, four, I believe. Yeah, it goes one, two, four. Fast and Furious 2009 is number four. Then you've got Fast Five, which is 2011. That's the yep. fourth movie in the franchise that you should watch. Then you have Fast and Furious Six. That's actually just titled oh, you're Fast and Furious. In chronological I'm reading them order. in chronological order. So that's just actually titled Fast and Furious Six. Uh, when only one other movie in the franchise, which is the third movie chronologically, but the fourth movie release wise, which is called Fast and Furious. So you literally only have two Fast and Furious movies, Fast and Furious and Fast and Furious 6. So the sixth movie, <laughs> the sixth movie chronologically is actually the third movie to be released, which is called The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift 2006. The seventh movie is just called Straight Furious 7. That was released in 2015. <laughs> Eight really takes a departure from the name uh, naming mechanic that they're going with, with The Fate of the Furious. And if you remember, the reason they went with The Fate of the Furious is because the... the I don't remember because I don't watch these fucking movies. The, remember? The, remember the, that part? <laughs> remember that part where I hate them? I believe the trailers would use, like, The Fate of the Eight or whatever bullshit. Um... Or they'd have eight highlighted in fate. Whatever. It's stupid. This, it is not a, a, a it's, 
Oh my god. So then ninth is the ninth movie chronologically is actually not a Fast and the Furious movie. It's an offshoot of two characters. It's called Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw, which was released in 2009. Oh yeah. So I remember that. The yeah, that tenth was good. movie you should watch is the most new is the newest release called F9. It literally every single it's movie just called F9. in this fucking franchise uses a different naming dynamic except for two of them which are the fast and furious and fast and furious six the only who, two movies and still they fuck it up who who is so, their marketing manager I because any know. marketing sure. manager is probably pulling the hair out being like well it's like um what was it uh now you see me and now you see me too or whatever oh my and god I, don't, don't you should not have brought that up <laughs> people are gonna be raving that because everyone in the world, as soon as that movie gets brought up, if someone uses like a GIF of that movie, yeah, the comments are no longer about what they wanted it to be about. Like you made it, like, it's just like they should have called it. Now you don't. Yeah. It's just everywhere. And oh, they should oh, have. Now you see how, me. Uh, <laughs> or or they should have done. And now, and now you see like, me. Now, now you see don't. me. Semicolon. Yeah. Now you don't. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would have done. Because again, marketing is the, how you get to connect these two movies. Is they got to connect the titles. Uh, I just the Fast and Furious. I posted a picture. It reminds me of. This graph I have for the PlayStation and Xbox. We have a graph for the PlayStation. It goes from PlayStation 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. And then it goes from Xbox to Xbox 360 to Xbox One <laughs> to Xbox Series S. X, One X, X S. One Xbox, <laughs> One Man, One Xbox enters, One Man leaves. I don't understand the naming convention. It doesn't make any sense. That's I'm, the name of I'm this actually episode. Starting... One Xbox Man enters, One Xbox Man leaves. <laughs> I think I, I so so you just post I, so I'm looking at the the name conventions of all the Fast Furious movies. This is not what we want to be talking about. This I'm is starting not to think this is intentional. It, I'm starting to think it's intentional because it's it's so oh. discongruous, discongruent, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. discongruous, discongruent. Yeah. With, with, yeah, that it it kind of like F9. Really, I, I I think it has to be on purpose because. The series itself is very self-aware. So I, so again, I watched everything up to Tokyo Drift, then nothing, and then F9, right? And in this movie, F9, Tyrese's character starts talking about how unlikely all the shit that they've done is, and how he gets, oh yeah, so in the beginning of the movie, spoiler alert, I guess, <laughs> for a nonsense movie, um, he gets into a firefight with like eight dudes and comes out unscathed. Let me guess, he uses but more his, gun, or more car than he does bullets. No, no, he all oh bullet. He gets to a firefight, right? What? This is a <laughs> he gets to a real movie. firefight. He gets to a real firefight, right? With a bunch of dudes with like AKs and stuff. His jacket gets all lit up, and he's fine. It's the power of family. That's not right? how bullets do. It's the power of no. It's no, no, the power no, he's of got, family. He's got, he's got. He's got. He's got armor this underneath. This is anime right? trope bullshit. The, no, no, no. Listen, he just has the vest on. So this gives him an existential crisis. This gives him an existential crisis, and he's like, does no one realize how many times we should have been blown up, shot to death, crashed, and then we just get away with it? Like, there's something else going on. And he, he comes as close as he can to breaking the fourth wall, and they kind of, and the other characters just appease him. They kind of just, like, like yeah, man, it's, go it's, along it's with crazy. it to make, to make fun of him. Yeah. And that's where they leave it. So, like, they, they know what they're doing. So, I'm looking at this name, this naming nomenclature, and they know what they're doing. Like, this whole series passed, I think, the third one. I think they just went full. I mean, if you look at the series now, again, this is, from this, is chronological. this is not release order. It doesn't matter <laughs> because looking at it, like if you if you think about the if you think about the series to go from an undercover cop busting an illegal racing ring to literal spies, <laughs> they don't I, I care. Just, but they just don't care. I, I want to talk about the fate of the every reference and how that sounds like a Star Wars or an Indiana Jones title no this is what i'm saying so everything i've seen and I remind you i've only seen fast and furious tokyo drift i only need to see fast and furious tokyo <laughs> everything drift because that honestly seen. it is no, the best movie facts though. it is the best movie well also it it, it explains everything like, else as well like they none don't of care the weird garbagey crime syndicate bullshit literally just here's a white fucking southern dude uprooted and put into japan where they have a completely different style of racing that he's used to and white savior complex kicks in at some point who gives a shit um but no i've seen only one movie but i know enough about fast and furious lore <laughs> to know that it deserves to be a star wars movie it deserves literally 
I have like written it down a thousand times. <laughs> Literally this first scene, I can see it in my head. It's like if you've ever played a racing game, when they introduce a new car, they have like those quick cuts of a bunch of nice angles of the car. Um, oh yeah, baby, give me some angles. And 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 so I do, I, I see this like you know space arena filled with with basically space NASCAR fans, all like cheering as like intense music is playing and we're like doing a, a a sky pan of the racers all lining up and then space dominic toretto starts explaining the heart <laughs> of pod racing he literally is is doing his whole family speech <laughs> but about what it means to be a racer in the star wars universe basically and as he's doing it, we're getting, you know, cuts of dudes filling up their their pod racers, people working on their pod racers. You get the the pits, you get all these other things. And then as he's getting to the the high point of his speech, it zooms in on the on the on the starting line. And it does that uh red, red, yellow, green thing. And as it's doing it, you know, he's monologuing about the point of this entire monologue. And as it hits green, <laughs> he's monologuing his mon- about yeah, the he's monologue. monologuing about the monologue. <laughs> uh, you know, he's 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 basically making his thesis statement about the monologue. Um, Thanks everybody for coming here. <laughs> I have something to talk about. <laughs> exactly. Uh, as he sa- as as the light is changing from that that last yellow to green, and you hear all of the engines kick on, all of the noise fades out. And Dominic Toretto, space Dominic Toretto, because I got to make sure everybody knows it's in space, just leans in and says, <laughs> no, this is what I call pod racing. And then the whole fucking race starts. Does that line pre... Okay, so does is this what I call music? A reference to Star Wars? That's a real thing that exists. Isn't that a CD, like a, a best of CD or whatever? I'm, I'm looking up, I'm I'm looking up the know. dates. Oh, God. Oh, no, they released in the same year. They were released in the same year. Oh wait! Now that's what I call music came first. Okay, that's what I figured. So wait, no, no. So that's what I was gonna ask because I'm just like, I feel like, I feel like, if they're not a reference, so if I one of them is not a reference. The line is now. This is what I call pod racing. Um, that's exactly the nomenclature but it, but it's, of but the it's, CD. It's not. It's not a reference. It's. it's I do want to talk about how. Oh, now that's what I call music. The first album has the Backstreet Boys. Has a lot of Radiohead, so, Everclear. This shit wonder, is old, so what son. I'm, what, what I'm wondering is how old our eventual audience is going to be. Because if they're not millennials, or if, or if they're younger than millennials, they're just straight up not going to get this we're reference. on now. Like, that's what I call music 109. Shut up. They know what it is. <laughs> um, I'm, I wonder what our eventual audience age will be like the age demographic because yeah because that's like old infomercial like it's too late at night for you to be up <laughs> and you woke up because you have the tv on by accident kind of commercial thing is uh, i wish i remembered what songs were on it or what you guys like do you guys remember like old commercials where they would play video clips from songs on cds as if like like random at least companies one used to make mix takes listen listen yeah to- your parents' favorite no. love songs. Baby, <laughs> I can no. pay you like a kiss from a rose on the gray. And you're just like, I just, it's, it's I just two in the afternoon. What am I supposed to do without you? Like that whole, like that whole CD, I'm pretty sure if I Googled it, I could find like it. Two in the afternoon, you're waiting for Cyber Chase to come on PBS. Fucking. Infomer. <laughs> Infomercials is going to be one of those things that they offer in like, um, in like a, a future college, like meme chronologicals or like, you know, like, like meme t- 205 <laughs> infomercials or something, you know, like it's infomercials don't make I, sense. Infomercials <laughs> were the first meme. And it, yeah. And it's just like, it's like, there's going to be, a, there's going to be a college course that covers meme culture and the internet. Like there's going to be uh, internet culture exists. and there's going to be a subclass called memes. It probably does. It should, because it's history's moving fast, and we are not understanding. History's moving without us, son. We are we are lost. <laughs> they took off without us. I love how both of you, when you say yeah. history, you just completely slurred it along to make your points. You're like history's moving fast. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yes, Dion, man. Apparently, um, so are you. 
Listen, man. Uh, all listen, right. I, I okay. know that I'm, a, I'm all trying. Right. trying. Okay. History's moving uh, so fast that Dion's words are trying to keep up. It's moving so fast that it causes a singularity it's that I can't that speak serious. anymore. Um, but back to my point. Fast and Furious, Star Wars movie. <laughs> no, we're done. We are at 15 minutes. I gave you... I wanted to stop you at 10. We are done. It is over. You wanted to, to stop him at 2. you want to talk about this, you do this on your own time. This, <laughs> we are, we are on the clock right now. <laughs> all right, all right. Do this on your so own then podcast. Allow me, with, then with, allow me to with pivot. Blackjack and hookers. Allow me to pivot on unnecessary sequels because Fast and Furious has a lot of those. <laughs> no, Fast and Furious <laughs> is that. That's their there's brand. A new, there's a new paranormal activity coming out, and... It's a reboot of the franchise, to the best of my understanding. And, uh... Hey, oh, oh boy. I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question. I, I feel like it's really reasonable interjection at this point. Why? That's, that's it. That's all question. That's is the why. thing. I don't understand. Like, I get... I get, I get ridiculous uh, sequels. I get like making sequels for the meme at this point. Because sure, let's be yeah. honest, that's all. That it's exactly to Dion's point. That's what Fast and the Furious has done. If you say Fast and Furious one more time, <laughs> <laughs> fine. Please I am afraid that we're going to get caught back in that well because you're going to remember one more I, stupid fact. I can't. I can't really think of other like prime examples in my. I guess horror movies in general are really. I good would say. I, I would say Scream. Scream. Scream only had Scream oh, only I mean, had three sequels, and only the fourth one is regarded poorly. Are you kidding? Are you joking? Yeah, there's only four of them. But no, no. Are you joke? Are you both joking? No, there's only four Scream movies. Scream Scream spawned an entire sub series of meme yeah, movies. Yeah, so say like Scream plays on itself. It breaks the fourth wall, saying like it. No, 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 no. Mm. But beyond that, Scary Movie the series is entirely based on Scream, or rather. And and a bunch of other like hundreds of but, other but scary movie not, tropes. It's not but a direct sequel to Scream. That's my point. No, 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 no. But but oh, okay. But it's not a direct sequel. But it's, it's a spinoff, it's, it's basically. A, it's a gag. But that's yeah. because Scream spawned meta or meta meta horror, where yeah, literally exactly. like meta, meta we horror. wouldn't have okay. Cabin in the Woods without Scream because Scream was the person who Scream was hyper the analyzed <laughs> horror movies and was like, I'm going to be a killer based on the hyper analysis of horror movies. Um, also, they're remaking Scream. Or no, I'm sorry, they're making Scream 5. You I think they're making Scream 5. You can't. I'm just going to replay my voice because that was the same reaction of stop it. <laughs> stop it. You, you, Someone give me a new It is called stop. Scream 2022. Oh, I don't what's think what you the can name make a Scream? Okay, so you've got Scream 1 through 4. And then you've got Scary Movie 1 through 9 or whatever they're at now. Um, they stopped after 4? I think they also stopped after 4, to be honest. Because there's there's only so many dumb uh, tropes yeah. you can make fun of. There's a certain, um, there's a, especially with their humor. Their honestly, humor is very childish. I mean, there's a certain amount that is just... I mean, isn't it the same Stark Honestly, Parker? S- no, Scary that was Movie 1 Wayne, is better Wayne's than Scream right? 1. Oh, it was the Wayne's Brothers. It was the Wayne's Brothers, yeah. Which I yeah, did. Scary I did, movie I did one, like them, and I did like. I think scary one movie one, two, and three. Scary movie one is actually yeah. a good movie, and scary movie two is also decent. Oh, enough. they did white. Shit. But you so can, the, you can the, tell the decline of like this is just getting repetitive and shit. We, we, yeah, like with any sort of like you know continuous meme joke, right? I don't think you can do another scream movie and not put in a bunch of meta humor. Like you can't also, like. Oh, Especially I mean, if you're gonna say tr- like, oh, okay, hold on. Uh, looks like looks like they. So my five. thing is like, so so my you could you could, you could you could completely retcon. You can completely ret- retcon everything and just reboot it, and it's the first time anyone's ever experienced Scream. But that mask is a joke. Yeah, you know what I mean. It looks goofy. It's oh, stupid. I mean, to to your point, uh, for both Scary Movie and and Scream, like, there's no Scream mask more synonymous with Ghostface, which is the name of the killer. Then the was that one from Scary Movie, where it's is it a it different literally mask? it's the ghost face mask, but it has its tongue hanging out to the side. <laughs> I I enjoy the concept of a killer who knows that they're being meta before it became like the hat tipping fedora crowd's whole red pill arc, where they're like being meta is part of being red pill. Anyway, um. Oh, okay, sure. I'm not thinking work for it. I don't know anything about. I don't care. It's it's literally why Rick and Morty is popular, like beyond beyond Rick, okay. being Rick and Morty, which is just a genuinely funny jokes. The whole meta commentary yeah. of Rick and Morty is 
food for red pill people, which are the the which is unfortunate, but I don't think no, it was their intention. No, literally, unless literally they were the making fun of, of them. Rick and Morty hate those kinds of fans. They're like you're you're idiots. Yeah, I th- I think for, I think most of the con- I mean, I think most of the time they're making fun of them yes. intentionally. Um, but well, it just, then they do a sexual one thing to make fun of them. It feeds the cycle. Like. Anyone that I think the whole joke is anyone that identifies with Rick it is yeah, you're, you're the problem with society. Like, like if you are genuinely identifying with Rick, one, no, you're not that smart, <laughs> and two, you're not supposed to like him. He's the bad guy. You, you said you didn't like confusing movie timelines. Here's Fuck one you. for you. Here we go. Here's no. What? Here's here's my favorite one, uh, which what is, is this, the Halloween oh, there's, there's timeline. Talks. Uh, I've never actually seen a Halloween. So, so in case don't, you don't know, actually, there are right. like literally and four I've seen top, enough Friday the Thirteenth. I've seen these; I, they're all in the same way. I be mean, that's the point. Is this um, yeah. Michael Myers? Yes. Oh yeah. I've only seen one of these movies. I think, uh, but also this looks it's, complicated. It's complicated because they can't decide what what they want to keep and what they don't want to keep. Well, when you use a name like Halloween Ends, which is what the yeah. new one's called, you're going to run into yeah. problems. Because, yeah. exactly. Because then what do you Final Fantasy. do after that? <laughs> we don't talk about that. No, There's 39 about of them. They're not it's final. Shush. I, I, it was titled Final because it was probably going to be the last game made and then I actually think, took off. I think that's no, actually a never mind, that's what I heard. Myth. Never mind. Never mind Halloween 3 came out uh, twenty years before Halloween two. Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing the problem. <laughs> so I see. Yeah. So I see that they retconned all of this twice. Yeah. Well, I see it's like three times because there's Rob Zombie over here. They just decided, nah, he's just a fanfic. Yeah. No. People love either love or hate Halloween one from Rob Zombie, or just fucking loathe both of them. And then Season of the Witch was supposed to be where Halloween went, where it was all going to be anthological after Halloween one and two. I mean, okay. listen, like I said, when you when people have like bad movie nights, they have they have scary movie nights, the, like you know, um, para, para, I mean, paranormal activity, as we mentioned before. Is which, a bad movie. Which we'll get. I, back I've seen that. I've before. never seen they it. They tried to make it like the Blair Witch found footage thing, and it was clearly fake and bullshit. I mean, Matt. I've never seen Matt, any of it, and to I don't your care. Question: um, They just did a horror spinoff of Freaky Friday, which are which you is joking? Freaky, where basically a slasher and a a a girl he's about to kill end up switching bodies in a Freaky oh Friday scenario. God. And Vince Vaughn now plays a teenage what? girl trapped in Vince Vaughn's body, while the teenage girl, Catherine Newton, plays Vince Vaughn trapped in her body. Serial killer Vince Vaughn. You know what? Normally I'd be like, oh, that's so awful. I hate it. Hearing that description, that must have been so oh, fun for I, both so of you. I've, <laughs> I've not seen it. And I, I assume its ratings aren't great because slasher movies tend not to have a great ratings. It's got an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's not bad. Um, no, 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 because 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 Rotten Tomatoes has fan base, and the fans know what's right, fun to right. watch. That sounds fun um, to watch. Happy Death Day, also Vince Vaughn very popular. playing a teenage girl playing Vince Vaughn. That sounds fun. Yeah. So let's pivot back to Paranormal Activity so or whatever, so you can talk and. All right, all right, all right. All right. We don't I can get to. mad at rebooting some shit. And <laughs> we don't need to. So I'm actually gonna look up to make sure that it's a reboot. Uh, so it's called Next of Kin. Um, which leads me to believe that it, it has some relation to the original. Um, I've only seen the first one. I haven't. They made. Oh, like I'm five sorry. Of them. I haven't seen any I'm of them. I'm sorry. Wait, three of them? I thought they made seen, like five of them. Yeah, you've never seen. You've seen how many, Dion? You said? Paranormal activities. I've seen two of the trailers. <laughs> I've seen two of the trailers. Twelve. I've seen the combined twelve four or minutes. sixteen years ago. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that trailer where she like. It's like a night vision camera, and she's like slightly hovering over her bed, and then gets yanked away. And then I've seen that trailer where the husband character is like trying to find out what's going on. He and gets then yanked away. They cut to, <laughs> so yeah, basically. So <laughs> there's a lot of yanking in that uh, movie, <laughs> and not good yanking either, man. Uh, so there are oh, at current six films, uh, with the seventh coming out this year. <laughs> both of those trailers were for yes, the first. Yes, they were. Time. I was going to say both of those trailers, Dion. <laughs> I hate to tell you, first film. Uh, I've never seen it. I, I remember it. them intensely. I, rem- I remember there being a, a commercial for a trailer for the third one, and I was like, screw it, I didn't do the first two. So, 
and then I haven't looked back since. I didn't know there was a fourth right. or fifth, let alone sixth. We're, we're gonna play a game called um, Stereotypical White People. So Dion, the premise of this is that it's stereotypical white people in a haunted house. I want you to guess what these goddamn white people do instead of what they should be doing they is up. moving the fuck out. They split up. All right. <laughs> they split to up fair, and try to figure to out what's fair, going on. Actually, uh, because this clearly <laughs> shows that you actually don't understand the intricacies of paranormal activity. I won't. Move, moving Ooh. out does not actually help them because I believe in two. I believe three, like the ghost is haunting her. Like yeah, it's her the, the ghost is demon. actually haunting the family. Um, which is okay. Wait, I, I know this is not the same film, but. <laughs> And this would have been the correct solution in the movie where the guy is a journalist and he moves into a haunted house to solve a murder mystery. I'm sorry. Are we talking are we Which talking movie about is that? the one with Johnny Depp? The one not with Johnny no. Depp. The yeah. one that might have been Johnny Depp. <laughs> or what, what? 1408. Um, so he's a, he's, he's not moving into a house, but is moving into a haunted hotel room to write a book about it, which is a stupid idea. No, no, no. So so, so the plot is... I, I watched secret, this with one of you window, or both of you. Are you not talking? It's, it's, it, it's a published author moves into... He moves his whole family away from a good situation into a haunted house, and it's haunted because he realizes that... Um, in order to solve a disappearing person's case, he has to move into the house where they disappeared from. And then every time he puts the projector away and then goes back to sleep, oh, it turns itself back oh, on. Oh, okay. I so don't know what this cool. is. I do know what this is. It's sinister. He, it's sinister. Is it sinister? Yeah. And then no, his family I, I gets yeah. He sees like so the one what, with what, the lawnmowers. Yeah, so yeah, Terrifying. exactly. And then and then the one where the, the, the car yeah, fire yeah. and the pool. Yeah, that would have been solved if they just moved out yeah. of the haunted <laughs> house. Because the big reveal is big reveal. The the monster is in the films that you're watching about the unsolved murders. Yeah, stereotypical white people, paranormal so, activity, Matt. they move into a they have they move into a house that's haunted. What do you think happens? What do you think they do? Somebody wakes up. Oh oh no, it's the zombie rules. Um somebody knows what's going on, isn't telling okay. anyone else. Because they think they can just handle yep. themselves. Um, someone dies. That person still stays quiet. Um, they split up. Another person dies. Then that person speaks up. I, and only one person survives. All right, so you're, you're missing uh, a good bit because this is, this is not this is not a like murder mystery. There's only two people, so people don't actually okay. No, there's not like a la a culling. Oh, I was thinking this is a college no. sort of horror. I don't. This okay. is two white people. Two a loving family moves into a house that's haunted, but they won't move out or run away or do anything. So what do you think that they do? They fight. Okay, how do they fight? They bl they blame each other for the weird things that are happening. I believe that happens. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it in quite some time, but I believe uh, that happens. I think that um, happens in two. So yeah. what, what else? So, think, so these, think these are white couples, white, I'm, trying, right? I'm trying to see what, what you can guess. What do you think that these white people do? What, wait, wait, what, what, what movie? Paranormal we're activity. Again? What do I think happens to paranormal activity in general? Yeah. So what do you think that in, in a typical horror movie where there's two white people, where there's a ghost that haunts the girl, not the house? Oh my gosh! What do you think they do to try and help oh, solve oh, the situation? Okay. So, so, um, so the so the dude gaslights her and thinking that it's all in her head. Pretty wow. confident. Yeah. Correct. That's point one. Point one. <laughs> what what else happens? Um, it keeps happening. Uh, it starts happening to him. And he just dismisses it as like I don't know, some weird macho thing that he has to do. Take it a point away. That actually doesn't happen. He just doesn't go. I'm just tired. It's yeah, fine. No. He doesn't. I do believe, it. No. I believe no, he does no, point out it, like this is some fucked up shit. When it literally drags him out of the bed, that's like halfway through the movie. He's like, all right, whatever's been going on is fully not in your control. Okay, so he gaslights her at first. Hundred percent that happens, right? Um, uh, so he figures it. So he feels it. Um, they don't leave. They <laughs> do not call the cops. That is super important. You don't Especially call the cops. Especially if it's a ghost. What are because, cops going to... Side note. What, well, no, 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 no. Because cops, when it's... What are a, cops going to do against ghost demon? No, no, listen. Because because it's never a ghost. So, so, so real life, right? Because these people don't know they're in a movie. They think it's they're in real life. It's never a ghost demon. It's never a ghost demon. Call the cops. So they don't call the cops, right? Straight up, they just don't. Um... <sighs> I'm, I mean, it's found film genre, so they start recording, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why they start recording. So, what are they trying to, are they trying to communicate to, they're trying with to find it? out what's happening because they can't yeah. figure out why the shit's happening. 
They're investigating. White people, right? They're investigating. Stupid. Um, I was hoping for a Ouija board. At, Ouija yep, board? Ouija at board, point. I believe, has. You're joking. I thought Ouija board had dried out. Uh, witch doctor or ghost hunters, any of those three, also acceptable. Because that tells pretty them, much that tells all, them the all three, all and three then of he, those happen yeah. at some point in the yeah. series. Oh, this is just white horror tropes to move. Oh, uh, no. Paranormal cool, activity cool, cool. is literally how many tropes can we throw at a wall and make them stick. So, paranormal activity set 2007, set in 2006. Uh, yeah, say old. based on a true story, only roughly based. Uh, <laughs> yeah. set- just like really? the movie choice based on the the, the alien. Eat my yeah. ass. <laughs> set- I mean, just like the checks of Saints on Massacre <laughs> and what are the movie are based uh, on the same true story? So, so what was so it? Um, I know you know, Nick. Was it? Uh, I know Texas. Oh, the Children of the Lamb, Children- Silence of the Lamb, and Texas Silence Chainsaw of- Massacre are based on the same true oh, story. Oh yeah, they are based on the same short story. Um, there, yeah, so that's sort of true story. Anyway, so paranormal activity. <laughs> that includes all those things. 2006, a young couple, Kate and Mika, Mika is the husband, who have recently moved into a new house, are terrorized by a demon that has stalked Katie since childhood. Uh, done for, found. Uh, Can you pause? Done, that's, Can you pause? That's, that's 2007, paranormal activity. Very straightforward. Paranormal right. activity two. So, so pause, real, pause real quick uh-huh. for me. Um, does she know she's being haunted the whole yes. time? That's the... That's and- why I say it's not an all in your head situation <laughs> where where he's like completely dismissing it right after. Does she admit it to him before no, he moves so to a new house? After the whole gaslighting situation, she's like, "Wait, I think I know what this is," and he's like, "You're fucking kidding wait." Me. What do you mean wait? This didn't come up on like how did this not come up on like date? Yeah. Uh, Listen, date one, so, I get it. Hide the so weird stuff. Me, date me six, uh, I'll marriage. Get I'll get there. I promise. They do explain kind of how it happens. Uh, Paranormal Activity 2 in 2010 set one month prior to the events of the first film, despite being called Paranormal Activity 2 for some reason. Katie's sister Christy and her family in Carlsbad, California start experiencing strange activity after her baby named Hunter is born. So, immediately throw creepy baby into the trope. Pool. Paranormal Activity 3. the fastest way... The fastest way to make a movie scary if you don't have Throw any other ideas for some children. Add a bit. Children. Children are naturally oh, so you've spooky. Seen Paranormal because... Activities 3 and 4. Paranormal Activity 3, <laughs> set in September 1988, focuses on a younger Katie and Christy who live in their mother, Julia, and her boyfriend, Dennis, in Santa Rosa, California. As they experience sightings and they encounter the now named demon Toby for the very first Toby! time. So this is the origins of the demon from the prior two films. Concerned, Dennis decides the to ghost's set up cameras, name is Toby uh, with the I help would... of his friend Randy, who encounters Toby as well. There are many cameras that are on the house. One which is attached to a small oscillating fan that moves the camera back and <laughs> forth from the kitchen area. Oh, it's gonna make me vomit. Why? Because there's a great fucking egg you... shot where like dudes doing something in the kitchen. The camera's oscillating. It turns off of him for a second and it turns back to him. And there's literally a sheet standing behind him. And I believe he like scoffs and laughs at whoever's doing it. And the sheet like flies at him and nobody's there. It's a great shot. Don't get me wrong. As much as I think these films are garbage, okay. they do do some great fucking shots. They're found funny. I just want to talk funny. Is- I just want to mention it. Like, imagine you're this great demon that's able to terrorize and kind of fuck right. people. Toby. My Toby. name's Toby. Toby Rama. I want to <laughs> I wanna make a joke. Um, you you a don't have to joke, ask, but I'm going to refrain. No, I'm not going to do it because whatever. <laughs> um, so as someone who's recently played Phasmophobia, <laughs> you don't place a camera on a moving surface. That doesn't make as sense. Someone, even yeah, even as, in the let 80s, let me, let me that fix wouldn't the make answer, sense. As, as someone who desperately cried and tried to run away during Phasmophobia. No, because listen. No, because this is bullshit. <laughs> because how is it that you guys played... I know that you guys played it before me and one of you died, but how is it that as soon as I joined the party, I'm the black guy, also the first person that dies when I join the game. That doesn't... It's giving classic horror racist vibes. Phasmophobia knows, and I don't like that it knows. Uh, So Paranormal Activity 4. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we played another game, and again, another one of you, another one yeah, of you yeah, died. No, so none of us died. You died the minute you joined, and then none of us died. <laughs> it's great. It we never fantastic. did get anything on that dots projector. That thing's fucking hard to use. Um, Paranormal Activity Four, 2012, set in November 2011. So remember, Paranormal Activity Three, 1988. Paranormal Activity Four, 
2011. I hate this. <sighs> the film focuses on Alex Nelson and her family residing in a neighborhood in Henderson, Nevada. The family begins to experience hauntings concerning Alex's adopted brother, Wyatt, after Katie... Fucking kill the, the kid. The chick from the first three films... Wait, what? A, the chick from the first three... After Katie, the chick from the first three films, and her mysterious son, Robbie, who she stole from her sister at the end of the Paranormal Activity 2, moving across the street. Uh, uh, th- uh, this uh, one uh. not only uses the found footage style, but it also uses MacBook webcams, iPhone, and oh, Connect I hate technology. Those. And Connect technology, which is how it creates a dot. <laughs> it literally creates a dots projector. That's what a Connect is, is a dots projector. Um... That's that's kind of cool. I I, I hate the uh, the webcam shit just because. Yes. It's so disorienting. It's so shit quality. It's just bad. It just doesn't work. Oh my god. We gotta. We're gonna have to binge uh, we watch. We do these. like an. Uh, oh yeah. I was gonna say no. We don't have to have horror or like a, a movie thing. We can literally just every every now and again. Nick Nick did a movie episode on accident. Nick Nick wouldn't shut up about movies, and we were just like, "We'll let him have this one." All movies, no pizza. <laughs> oh God, that would be the worst experience. <laughs> After what we used to do. Yeah, we used to. Have, that was we tons had of pizza, deal tons of pizza, tons mm-hmm. of pizza. She uses the Connect as a dots projector. Um. Which is functionally how it works. <laughs> That's so cool. No, think about oh, that. It, it makes for a great <laughs> fucking scene. Like, there's a scary ass scene in Paranormal Activity Five that has the dots projector. That actually totally makes sense. Or basically, for not really, but like basically, right? Yeah. Hold on. See, I'm, fu- I'm fine with that. I'm fine with you know, even if it's a shitty horror movie, then using yeah. the connect sensor as a dots projector. That 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 makes sense. I'm a big fan of horror movies doing it, like it, being it, innovative with their stupid. It wouldn't shit. work because that's dumb, but that makes sense that it would work. It wouldn't work, but it makes oh, sense. I'm gonna send you a picture because Dion, you'll notice in this picture, it also does that horror movie trope you mentioned. Like five seconds earlier, which is putting a creepy ass kid in the movie. Yeah, the so there's projector. a movie that I watched a long time ago. Yeah, no, so children are inherently scary. And it's, I don't know what it is. I, I'm sure papers have been written about it, probably. But even like innocent children. Like so, so children that are in scary movies, right? Just the child actors. They're not really doing anything because they're child actors. They're not good at acting yet. Um, they're just told, look at this spot. Be yeah, yourself. Stare. And it's so creepy. Um, when you see a child in a grocery store that stares at you, you're like, oh, lol, you're just processing. Hi. And they wave back or they turn away. Oh, shy, that is right? not that scary. Fuck. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah. Little kids. Like, I walk past this little kid, and and I walk past their like you know his balcony when he's playing out with his grandma, and he's like, "Hi," and he's like six or whatever. And I'm like, "Hey," and then it's it's cute, right? Kids in the grocery store. Um, when they stay, I don't think it's creepy. I think they're just they're just trying to understand why we're here, and it's and it's hard to understand that. You know, why are there so many people in this one place, but there's not so many people at home, right? You're a child, you don't understand. But when a child is alone. And staring, it's just different. And they got great imagination, so they'll start talking and because they'll the start imagining things. Because the first thing you things. do when you see a... The first thing you do when you see a child alone is like, where are Look your Look at parents? this gif. This is from Paranormal Activity 4. Ooh, you see that shit behind like him? Like, yeah. that's exactly like the kind of innovation I like to see in horror films. And is why you can use exactly what you're talking about with kids perfectly. Like, him just talking... For those that obviously can't see this gif... What it is, is the little boy Robbie in the movie is talking into the dark while the dots projector connect is picking up sort of what's going on around him. And and it's probably just him very, walking around before very the scene. faintly behind him. You can see the outline of a child moving and it's it. Of a child yeah, ghost. It's very a clear that child. it's it's hinting that that's supposed to be Toby, the demon. Um, Toby. Uh it's very clear that like it's just a kid in a green screen suit like you can (laughs) very much see the outline but like big screen creepy atmosphere a little boy talking saying absolute nonsense while this fucking camera recording is happening this is creepy as fuck this is creepy as fuck it's 
So, so it's 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 not so yeah. So I realize it's not just about the way that they look at things, because kids for some reason have thousand mile stares. I don't know how they do it. It's it's oh you know what it is? It's the eyes because your eyes don't grow. Kids have big eyes, not because they're cute, but because your eyes don't grow. So they're as big as they need to be when you're a child. So your eyes are really big. And for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, but their pupils aren't set the right way. <laughs> like, I feel like children's pupils are bigger. Like, I feel like your eyes don't grow, but your irises do. I don't know if that's true, but that's what it feels like. Because kids have some deep, dark eyes. And they just look off into the distance sometimes. And they're just gone. They're just gone in their tiny little minds trying to figure shit out, right? Um, but on top of that, kids move <laughs> the way that children walk. So that you can tell because, like, yeah, it's like you said, the kid in a, green, in, in a green suit or whatever, right? They just recorded this child moving around. They move like they don't know that they belong on Earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, they really if do you look, look at his legs. don't know what to do with themselves. Yeah. So if you look at like, the left leg from our perspective... It's doing some weird like hip yeah, joint thing like, that children do. It looks like he's like just children just yeah. do that shit. They just they they move they like salamanders. Weird. They move like they don't have <laughs> jelly bones. <laughs> to be fair, they do have jelly bones, oh and they God. are just now figuring out how humans work. Like for the uh, first now time. I'm torn. But it makes them now I'm torn between <laughs> children move like salamanders and one Xbox man enters and one Xbox <laughs> man leaves. <laughs> Children are salamanders is great. I, I understand personally why there's not a lot of horror movies with colored people in them is because they don't <laughs> work. <laughs> colored people don't play that like mess. You, 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 <laughs> like we're walking down a tunnel, like one of those big tunnels, uh, like sewage things or whatever. I don't know what they're called. But you're walking down one of those and you hear a noise on one side and you hear some shadows. And then Nick and I turn to each other like, hey, did you see that? Hey, De Dion, Dion, where'd you go, buddy? Oh, he just left. He's gone. And then you, you see, and the next shot and is Dion sipping he, some tea. He's like, reads the news. He's like, oh, so they were murdered. Cool, whatever. <laughs> Dumbasses. <laughs> or it's like he he called the cops, but he didn't stay because he was black. <laughs> so the cops showed up and investigated, and then they found your dead bodies. And it's like, oh, do you want to come for a comment? I don't want to come for a comment. That's how you get reinfected yeah. with a ghost. It's coming back for a comment. I want to stay away from this. I'm good. I, I social distancing. I social distance with my ghosts. I don't like to co go near it. Who investigates a sewer? What's wrong <laughs> with you guys? When you're making a horror film, things don't really need to make sense for them to be fun or even good. There's an entire horror movie that, that has a sequel where it's a killer tire. Does does Robert have, a, does tire, Robert have a, a, a sequel? I think Robert it does. Too? Electric Boogaloo? I, <laughs> <laughs> I love saying Electric Boogaloo when I'm talking about things that continued because it's my fit. Honestly, they I don't know how they they, they stumbled into Golden lightning with the phrase electric, electric boogaloo. boogaloo. They stumbled into lightning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whenever you say anything to 80%, 60% of people are going to go mm -hmm. electric boogaloo. So there's I not a sequel to Robert. Any, I, ha, ha, there's however, not. Okay. Uh, there is a fan theory that Rubber is a sequel to Christine. Christine? <laughs> that uh, Christine about the killer car. And it's like possessed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which would I actually kind of love the idea? I love the idea that, like, in a weird meta sense, rubber the the okay. tire from rubber, which I believe actually has a name. Here's the thing: all I'm saying is you don't need it to make a lot Robert. of sense. Robert, yeah, the tire is named but, Robert, by the so, way. Yeah, like the um. But you, but if you're gonna create a series, at least try. Yeah, yeah. Don't just don't just like wave your hand and something nonsensical happens. Like, don't just have a dartboard you're, you're, of ideas and just premise. throw them on there and go. Child kidnapped, uh, disappears. No comment. My, yeah, yeah. My thing is, your premise doesn't need to be good to make a horror movie, but you do I mean, need look to be at consistent. Ninety-five percent of what Stephen King writes. Creepy children. Yeah. yeah no, aggressive no, no, yeah. bullies. Yeah. Rapey weird, children. Rapey children also. Ra yeah. None of what Stephen King's writes really has a good premise. But guess what? He's got in-universe consistency. Eh. Yeah, I mean, he does. Uh, <laughs> like, he does. all of his books are connected. No, 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 no. His his premises are bad. Like, the things that happen don't make sense. Like, but you, guess what? There's consistency in that nonsense. Have you seen Dreamcatcher, Matt? No, I have not. So, Dreamcatcher... Uh, so, this is a side note. Uh, Stephen King writes great books. They're not that scary. I'd say they're more tense, they're more thrilling. A thriller. Um, okay. 
Yeah, I'd say he's very good at making you go, I want to know what's going on. So yeah, no more? I want to know what's going yeah. on, which is why The Shining works. Which is honestly uh, why I think uh, Kubrick Shining doesn't uh, has has division between it. I was saying, like, I, actually, Shining, I actually don't like The Shining, the movie. Yeah, Kubrick Shining is not a good depiction of the tenseness that happens in that book. The Is Shining his Johnny um, or no? Is Shining his yeah, Johnny or that's, 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 So but see there's there's okay, actually cool, cool, another cool, cool. shining there's the tv miniseries yeah, which is interesting. Okay. super fucking boring <laughs> it's very long-winded lots of explanation lots of just nonsense that you don't really need for the sake of a movie but because of how stephen king writes of how stephen king works having long periods of nothing book ended by these very small slowly ramping up creepy occurrences does better lend itself to a depiction of a more accurate stephen king's dream which is why stephen king doesn't like the shining because the shining is not an accurate depiction of stephen king's the shining i think the most scary stories or horror stories would be better depicted as a mini series tv series yeah most would yeah. Like like three or three to six episodes, because a large part of what makes like I think scary actually Christine would make a is, great miniseries. I think is, Christine would be a very is the interesting is, miniseries. Is, is, well, is a, building a, the a large part. You, so if you're reading a scary book, most of what's making you scared is that you don't know what's going on yet. And so if you were going to adapt that to the big screen, what's scarier than just leaving the audience in suspense for multiple episodes? Where you just give them hints after hints after for an awful thing, then they because because there's nothing scarier and most horror authors know this than letting the reader just create their own monster. Yeah. You just have to slowly nudge them uh, in the right direction. Have Edgar either Allan one Poe, of you um, played Amnesia: The Dark Descent? Oh yeah, I love Amnesia. No, no, no I've never. Played I, I mean, I can't beat it because I'm a pussy ass bitch. But really. So I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, no horror yeah. horror games I can't play because I I feel too I feel too stressed out. I, it's not even scary. It's just like I know something's going that, to try. That's and scare what me. I'm talking so, about. So that's what I was I going think, with. Um, the, I think video games are the best adaptation of scary things because you have it's absolute just control. The user playing yeah. themselves. Right. Exactly. But the, the problem with Amnesia that I have, and a lot of a lot of scary games, is that for Amnesia, I, I'm taking my time. You have a lantern. You have a little bit like you have limited light that you can use. And it's a pretty dark game. The problem is that when you see the monster, Gamma. When you oh, well, it's very Gamma. Goofy. Well, it's game, but when you see the monster, the monsters are really goofy. They're not yeah. actually scary. They're like, they're like a sixth grader's interpretation of scary, which is just like his face was half open. I'm like that's just dumb. Like this is a human with a really big his- mouth. Like it's creepy, but also no, I I don't know. And for me, I, I, horror games have a, such a problem just because I'm the type of dude who's just like. So where, where Nick is like too tense, I'm just like, I ran out of lantern juice, I ran out of oil, and I just went, fuck it, and I just started running. Because I'm like, well, I can't see anything, so. <laughs> yeah. Two types and, of players. And, and the thing is, <laughs> monsters would come and chase me, and I'm getting attacked, and I'm getting bloodied, and I'm like, well, it's just trial and error, because I can't do anything. I can't right. see, I can't take my time. Um, I think, I, so I think this is where you will separate the good games the from good from games. The chef. Or, it, or, or, or even like decent games from good games. Um, how well your player base, your average player base, are able to use the average number of resources based on difficulty level. I do not think it is the developer's responsibility to give their game a baby's first no, 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 no. And I wasn't, Hold on. I wasn't uh, saying... Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I know you weren't saying exactly I'll, I'll that. I'll but after this. Go on, Dion. Yeah, go on. Yeah, but, but, but the thing is, right, I, I, just, I just think that... So, so, so I have this whole other mega tangent on the way that you can save your progress <laughs> during a game because depending on the game that you have, it, it does change the way that you should mm-hmm. be able to save. Um, for some games, you shouldn't be able to save mid-boss fight. And for others, you should. For some games, you shouldn't be able to save in the middle of a scre- of a of a of a of a field, and then continue. But for other games, you should, um, and you shouldn't, and and that's just highly dependent on too many things to even get into. Um, you should never have to get to a save room or a save state or a flipping typewriter. Um, so, 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, go ahead. I'm going to completely because obviously you both know probably where I'm going to go with this is that I have a whole YouTube series where I go over game development, and I played a shit ton of games. Plug that <laughs> shit. Yeah, I played a shit ton of games and a shit ton of genres, both good and bad, indie and AAA, to get it a good to basically get a feel of like what works and why does it work. I did an analysis, and so for things like the typewriter and like save states, and you can only save at a certain time. Honestly, the typewriter yeah, does it work. does work, especially in horror games because. You can only save here. If the problem that becomes is if it saves too often, if you know there's too much of a safety blanket, right. you can yeah, just right, do right, whatever. Right. Like the big, the big punchy monster that's gonna squish my face. I mean, yeah, I get a problem, but yeah. I can just do this again in three minutes. Whereas in like Resident Evil and Silent Hill and all that, if you lost, I mean that's thirty minutes of progress. That adds tension. That adds that's fear. So, 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 so the side tangent, your side tangent. For the games like that, Resident Evil, where the safe state is a typewriter and it's like basically halfway through the chapter that you have a save room yeah. that you can go to, um, I think that's reasonable. I think honestly that series does uh, okay. Specifically, um, I believe it's Resident Evil Four. Does it the best? Is that the one with Ashley? Yeah, yeah. that's uh, what do you boy? And I, what do I you think that they, and and so I disagree because I, I think, think that's do, one of the worst. Resident I think they Evils. do safe. It's I one of the best. It's one of the worst. It's one of the best. I feel the worst because we're gonna yeah, get yeah. massacred. I love that game. It is not a. It wow. is not a Resident Evil game. It is. It, wow. So I'm obviously biased, and you guys are all gonna get crucified because yeah, it's, it's probably one of the most popular games. Resident Evil game. I just um, said I so, love so, the game. So, it is so, not Resident so calling Evil. back. Calling so 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 calling back to what do parents know. That was my first Resident Evil game. It was the first game, Resident Evil game my mom bought me. I didn't know Resident Evil existed. Until Resident Evil Four, so I'm heavily biased. <laughs> I mean, that's where basically it I have a not. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, I have not played another Resident Evil game, and I'm not going to because I didn't <laughs> like that game. Did I beat that game? Yeah, I beat that game. Was that game fun? Yeah, that game was fun. Am I playing another one? No, I'm not playing another one because I heard the rest of them are so different. And I, and I used to live with Matt. I've seen him play the other ones. They look less fun, and he had more fun, and I get that. That's fine. I highly fine. suggest Village let DM, me, actually. Resident Evil let Village. Me, let, me, let me start. Let's make going his rat. He's, he's spitting, I'm, I'm he shouting. spins a fire. I'm stop shouting. Um, but, you know, no, no, that, that is fine, though. Um, I'm trying not to shout so loud because I've got partners to be considerate of. Um, but uh, the, the thing is, um, I think that system of saving for that game Sure, it's not a Resident Evil game. That's an opinion that I think is valid that you can have. I don't have an opinion on that because I only played one. So I don't really get to have the authority. Um, but I think that it it's often enough for the kind of game that it is. It like dips in toes. It, it like dips its toes in a bit of like Dark Souls-esque difficulty in terms of distance between so, saves. Actually, because and, and, and well one of the things i love about the original resident evils is going back to what nick said about scarcity and resource management that's why i love those games is that those, those games are puzzle elements with zombies they're not really horror they have like jump scares and like they're, they're tense that's okay but i mean you might think they're terrifying but yeah i i think they're just they're they're tense they're tense no, because they're more fair. recent resource management. And one of the things i love about those games is that yeah. it's risk versus rewards so for like resident evil one and two mm -hmm. What I always did when I was younger is that I would clear out a section of the area, the hub, and that would be my save area. So if I was ever in trouble, I would go back and save. And I knew that that was safe because I cleared it out. The, yeah. So, yeah. and then that's, that's one of the things where I, that's one of the things where you can call that bitch baby stuff, but I'm like, that's what a developer should do is because you want to reach as many people as you want. You want to sell your game. That's the reality of it. So, You're, so that's yeah. actually, that's actually what I was going to s Well, the, so there's a spectrum yeah. of this, right? There, there is so no sorry, one sorry, hard and fast rule because it depends on the design of your game. Because, right. Yeah. So there, so on the extreme end, you have literally Dark Souls. Screw you. You knew what you were getting into. You get one bonfire per... 10 hours <laughs> I mean if you die <laughs> screw your progress true, right like yes. there's no yeah I, yeah Coming I'm exaggerating but because Dark Scrolls the fucking three games not entirely true but absolutely correct <laughs> listen I have not played a single Dark Souls games I only know what I only know what I know about Dark Souls from memes so and, and the memes are are like oh. yeah and the memes are just like you like you save you save once an hour because if you you okay, don't even screw save. the memes the point is 
the, the point of Dark Souls is it's it's the game for oh, I hate the gatekeep. It's the game for gamers. You know what you're getting into. The big point is you know what you're getting into. With Dark Souls, you know what you're getting into. If you're playing Dark Souls and it's your first RPG, wrong. <laughs> you someone did you someone dirty. Fooled like you. So, you fool. You there's not a, the it's not a, and there is yeah. There's not a chance that Dark Souls is your first RPG and your friend didn't prank you. Because you don't know what that if it's your first RPG and, and you there didn't is, hear there, about Dark Souls. There is a place you just for that. So you you were talking about before of like, you know, don't be baby bitch or whatever. And yeah. there's a place for making a game the way you want it to be. And, and that's perfectly that's perfectly right. fine. But you but yeah, so but you also spectrum. have to understand that if you make a really hard Incredible, like a fighting game. Fighting games don't typically sell or last well just because they take a lot of time to master. And so you have to come to that realization that you have a small play pool. Right, you, you, you need to know that if, you, if your audience is as big as you want it to be, then you can yeah. release that game. A thousand right? times. So, and then, so there's, there's, there's Dark Souls, right? Where it's just like, you know what you're getting into? It's not going to be easy. If you play it on easy, it's still <laughs> not going to be easy because we didn't invent there's easy. There's literally not an easy we mode. Yeah, there's there's adventure mode, there's a uh, veteran mode, and then there's the way the game was supposed to be played yeah, yeah. mode. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? And then and then there's the other side of the spectrum where you have like Slime Rancher. Oh. No idea what this is. You know, <laughs> and it's and it's just yeah, like so there's, there's so the I'm other like, side of the game where you have Stardew Valley where there's just literally <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, just no. the only yeah, Stardew problem Valley, is well, the only way to save is by ending the day you're on. That's <laughs> you know, yeah, no, okay, that's better. So, so there's Stardew Valley where you can't really lose. Like you can get a lot of people to be disappointed you in you. Bankrupt your and farm for you, for the that entire might, game if you want. And you can continue every day like that, and you can't <laughs> die and you can't lose. It's just vibes, and it's still an RPG because you still have to play it as if yeah. it's your. You know what I mean? Like so, yeah. So there's there's levels to it, but it's so, just like, and so I think that. Um, you have the right to so I, I so I don't know what it is. This year I saw a lot of articles, at least two. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Two. Um <laughs> the said Listen, it at it's the more than I had time. seen <laughs> um about how games should be more accessible. And I agree that they should be more accessible to um disabled players That's or rather players with disabilities. Thing, yeah. Um Yeah, yeah. Um I believe that uh, Last of Us 2 passes this test with flying colors. Their accessibility is amazing. Um, you should not have any problems playing that game. But... Um, it, but it depends. It dep I mean... yeah. What I'm saying is... Uh, n it's not every game's responsibility to make itself palatable no, to you. Which is not to say that you shouldn't be... like Like, if you have... A problem with mobility, but you love video video games. There should be a way for you to play video games. Um, there should be adaptations. Doesn't mean that if you that choose to allow play you Dark to Souls. access yeah. but mobility. Doesn't mean that if you choose yeah, to play yeah, yeah, Dark yeah. Souls, it's not still gonna be bitch ass hard. Yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, it should still be hard. But 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 the hardness should not come from Inability your to play. inaccessibility. Correct. There's no there's no benefit to it, and that's the problem. Is that again, as someone who's who taught and did education, making yeah. someone do a worksheet of forty <laughs> questions doesn't do anything. Because yeah. they missed and one. they missed one. It's like it doesn't do anything, and that's and I talk about this with Super Hot. Super Hot makes you go through the entire game and beat it with one life. True. Imagine if you were taking a test and got a ninety percent. Fuck. Okay, take it again. Ninety percent. <laughs> Fuck. And it's like and it's things like you and it's things like you just you just you're skipping through it, and what happens is you get so frustrated. Like, you can do it. I could do this 90% of the time. Why are you punishing me? Like, I can clearly do this. This is not an issue. The problem then becomes is perfection. And Japanese gun Japanese perfection. games in particular love I was going to say, it's, 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 so you can't get mad at certain oh, games I can get this, mad because it's right? still bad design. The problem is exactly what you guys are saying, is that if this but is... But it's the, culturally good yes. design. It's culturally accepted. If this accepted, is the game that design. you want to make, and saying that, like, I don't want to have an easy mode, and accessibility to me is... You know, being able to turn off vibration if you have Parkinson's, being able to turn off colorblind things. It's Ex arcade design. Yeah. It's the coin eater concept. And that, yeah. That's what it is. It's the coin eater concept, except you're at home. They can't coin eater you, so they make it impossibly hard. And they make it they so make you it so don't want to put it down. 
they challenge and, and, and yeah, they know it's, that it's as a long as you're playing that game you're thinking about them you're considering them and some of you crazy people are considering buying their next product Which because I don't. you're mad men <laughs> I only bought Ninja Gaiden. I have given my money to FromSoft. On top of that leaderboard, don't you? I have given my money to FromSoft. I will give it again because I like the <laughs> fucking effort Listen, they put into their games. FromSoft? FromSoft is one of the best game but developers in the past 20 years. I will not sit here and tell, that, tell a decent human being that these are good games worth playing. These are time sinks you, that will eat away are, at your soul until are you are not, a broken person. I think, I think the first two games that I played intentionally on hard mode were... The Last of Us and um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. No one had any reasonable expectation to be good at all, but I had a feel. A lot of people had a good feeling about that game. Um, I know that's not Resident Evil, but I've never played hard games on purpose. <laughs> I, I don't either. Before. I think it's. I think it's unless it's a a game that I want to be challenging so, for some reason. So so since then, since then, I did play games on hard. So after I started that process of playing games on hard to start with, I played the games on hard because I'm like, oh, I'm an adult. They make the hard mode. For I the don't agree with that though. Hard, and that's because so, they so, often so the, don't the, do them right. So <laughs> they don't. Because guess what I did? The first game I after I decided oh, that. Oh, guess what? Oh, they, oh, man, guess what oh, the first game I game, of, Stupid Nero, all about piece of shit. <laughs> The first game after those two games that I played after that, I was like, oh, I should just play everything on hard. It's a better gaming experience. It was near Automata. And you've never played that game on Don't. hard. <laughs> no, Don't. that's just Japanese difficulty, yeah. which is throw a bunch more bullets no, no, no. on screen. And no safe so, points. So, so I... I played the intro. So, so near Automata, if you know, you know. If you don't, I can't explain it to I you right know, now. So. Um, the, uh, I The intro... I played for, I believe, three hours and did not get through. And then I, Matt came home and I was like, Matt, I'm not bad at games, am I? And he's like, I don't know. You might be. So I was like, perfect, play. Perfect. He was like, perfect, he was like, perfect. I'm like, perfect play this perfect. intro for. <laughs> Thank you. I, that's all I've ever wanted to hear from you. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Hey. Play, play this. Give it 20 <laughs> real time minutes. Give it 20. Give it 20 real-time minutes, because an hour is too much. Give it 20 minutes. He played the intro for 20 minutes, and he was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's all I need to hear. Because when I looked up how to beat the intro on hard, and I do mean this literally, every single recommendation that said if you want to play the game on hard, play the intro on easy. And then when you've unlocked the ability to save, which was locked behind the intro for some Japanese <laughs> godforsaken reason. Careful. Uh, then switch to hard mode. The because that's the, the only us. way. I don't care. No, no, no. Because the Japanese yeah. know what kind of games they make. Yeah, I just, I could not believe that so every piece of okay. advice that I looked up was like, if you can't beat the intro on hard, play it on easy. And then when you unlock the ability to save, switch back to hard. And I was like, that can't be correct. And I tried for a day. For a day. <laughs> Listen. For a day. For a day. I knew, I knew the third one was coming. I, 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 do, I do mean for 24 hours to beat the intro on hard. You can, unless you have, unless you are no lifing your streaming career on Twitch, it, it's, it's, not, it's not possible <laughs> to beat that game the first time, at least. Because I, I didn't know a lot. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Unless you're no lifing, <laughs> it's not possible. Mm-hmm. And I had a life, and my life was working in a capitalist God damn it, dystopian yeah. nightmare. <laughs> 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 I will find a way. Every, um, it's, fa- it's goddamn fast and furious um, to Nick. It's a capitalist <laughs> goddamn dystopia for you. So, so ironically enough... Ironically enough, the reason that our capitalist nation doesn't work is that we don't believe in capitalism. <laughs> it's very bad. So, so, so also, so also the meat industry. Um, bacon's not good for you. Pork's not good for you. Um, but they lobby the shit ton, and the pork industry lobbies a shit ton. Um, and they got a lot of marketing approved because they didn't have to because of lobbying say the things that bacon was bad for you for uh or something i i'm gonna have to look this up and post this later but basically the reason that bacon's popular because everyone loves bacon actually no i don't it's because that 
shut up, Matt. You love bacon. And if you <laughs> disagree, you love yeah. bacon and are quiet. I don't and also love if you bacon. disagree, you're an American. <laughs> so the point is that um, bacon fat, or rather fat, pork fat, was a huge loss for the pork industry. And they were like, we need to market this pork fat. What can we do? And so they paid a bunch of money to a bunch of marketers and a bunch of lobbyists and said, we can market pork fat as bacon and it's fine. And we'll create a bunch of ads and you won't say that it's bad for you. Will you? Hashtag money bride. <laughs> and it I'm works. sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you mean hashtag lobbying? Hashtag like, lobbying, hashtag money. Yeah, 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 and exactly. this sounds eerily familiar to um, the cereal thing where uh, to, to sell milk and all that stuff. Like, milk, you should not be drinking milk and in the quantities that we do. Shut up. I like my nine a day. <laughs> also, nine gallons. It's just Buddy. Americans and English people that drink this much milk. I think I know why you're in the bathroom all the time. It's probably because you're <laughs> shitting your brains out. <laughs> But it's because you're drinking of, another mammal's milk. That's weird, yeah. bro. Yeah, but there was right. there was a lot right. of lobbying. It's Drink perverted. Milk and tell me it doesn't taste fantastic. It doesn't. I stopped drinking milk a long it time ago. No, fantastic. no, milk tastes weird. And it tastes it's perverted. We already talked about is, this. We've already had this debate. Have we already had that? We yes. <laughs> have we? We have. This is, is episode drinking, three or four, I think. Drinking milk is. I, I might not have been here for four. No, you were there drinking, because we talked about this. Because we talked about almond perverted. milk. We talked about almond milk in particular because we, we. I like how you say almond. Yeah, and then you said <laughs> I don't like almonds because it does weird things. You, you have to like some mouth. weird reaction to it, and then, then we said who the fuck milk, drinks a gallon of milk in like a week? I mean, you said who takes a week to drink a gallon? Right. Oh who, no, who yeah, takes, I remember that more because than a week to drink a gallon. Because I because gallon, I like said that about my previous roommate before you, Tepper. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. he would drink. He would drink so much milk. I watched him. It was like, like fear factor. If he was gonna run was out, delicious. he wouldn't just drink another bowl too. He'd just drink it. And I'm just like, Dude, why? Milk from the jug, beautiful. <laughs> Mm, I'm, sorry. Fucking, I'm sorry. You're fucking I'm sorry. Milk and chocolate. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. All right. I'm sorry. Here's in defense I'm of milk. I'm right. sorry. I was raised my entire <laughs> life drinking milk. I understand that the whole Got Milk campaign was literally so that the milk industry would not go belly up. Got milk. I understand. No, but literally, do you understand that? It was I, literally. I understand that milk. Is basically just the fat out of another animal's. Well, not the fat. Just basically the. I actually don't know what milk is. It's, I know it's milk from another animal's titty, and I know that I'm the only other animal on the planet that does, it, or the only other animal on the planet that does. It's mostly fat. But you know what else I am? But that's protein. You know. You know what else I am? I'm also the only animal on the planet that wears pants. I'm the only animal on the planet that that willingly knows how to use a toilet. I am the only animal on the planet that eats my meat with a steak, with a fork and knife. Listen. I'm the only other animal on the planet that sleeps in a bed, lives in a house, and uses the internet. I'm the only only animal on the planet that does a fuck ton of things. Listen. If you think me drinking milk from another animal's titties is the weirdest thing I do on a regular basis, you're apparently not as human as I am. Listen, swear to God, if you don't listen. (laughs) <laughs> I'm listening now. Listen. Right? You listening? We're listening. You made a lot you of good points. Them. Oh my god. <laughs> Go. No, because listen. You made a lot of good points. You do a lot of weird listen, you do a lot of weird shit. This is all I'm saying. Twenty twenty one. We will, eat ass, we drink I, whole milk. I will never li- no. I don't like no. this diet. No. <laughs> this diet is awful. No. I will This food pyramid is disgusting. At the same time. I have something conflicting to say. (laughs) I will never. I will. I'm holding my mic personally in my hand and moving as close as possible. I will never give up sharp cheddar cheese. (laughs) However, (laughs) if you still drink cow's milk, you deserve the chair. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ That's a bit much it's, But I'll take it I'll take Because you know of what? the impact like, of the economy You milk for the rest of your life But at 98 we're gonna put you on a fucking chair uh, I'm doing it I'm, Yeah ex- thank you You get yeah, me if You're like I'm a, you're old and you've drank a shit ton of milk We're gonna have to put you down I'm like fine 
do it, coppers. I'm- as I glug <laughs> another gallon. Oh my god. Well, you know, I, I really want to go on a tangent on that electric chairs, but, but I think it's time for yeah. a question. No, oh we'll bring it up god. for next time. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm still thinking about the milk. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? Two small questions. Uh, type A, number question B, one. What? <laughs> what type of milk would you be? <laughs> I've been playing cookie cooker, and if you unlock enough achievements, you can unlock different types of milk. I would be, I would, I would be uh, caramel like honey milk. Go. I would be. Cow, I would go. I would be. Fish, I would be half caramel, ham- half fish, honey what? milk. Yeah, fish or mammals, which, they produce milk. Which They're, reminds me to reopen cookie cooker. Nut milk. So what was your answer, Dion? I would be half caramel, uh, half honey milk. Oh, man, so you're Sounds like delicious. that bougie milk. I'm like that bougie that, milk. Like a fucking yeah, bro. Or some shit. Um, <laughs> Matt, what kind of milk would you I'd be some skim-ass milk. I am a skinny motherfucker. There's no <laughs> substance in me. True, 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 true. All, right, true, true, all true. right, hold on. I just do need to make a, a a side tangent on my milk thing. Also, if you're drinking anything other than whole milk, you might as well just drink almond milk. There is no benefit you to drinking milk You might as well drink milk almond milk, milk bro. Whole. Like, no, dude. No, no. There's no benefit to drinking any other milk other than whole. Or drink oat milk or... Anything else? Like you might as well just drink almond drink milk. At that almond point. Milk, Stop drink drinking almond milk, milk if it's not whole. Like your skim milk, fuck you. If you're drinking two percent, stop it. First of all, first of all, stop, <laughs> stop it. it. First, get some. First, help. first of all, you think Mia, Ma- Mia, Michael Mia Jackson, Mia Jordan, Mia McDonald's, Michael Jackson, Jeff, Ma- Michael Jordan, Jeff, stop it. Get some out. Second of all, it's weird to drink other mammals' milks. Do other any other mammals go out of their way to drink another mammal's milk? No. Dion, will I stop guano eating cheese? Is, Dion, guano is a food. W- will I, okay, I know what guano is. Will I stop Bat eating cheese? Is a food, Dion. Will I stop eating cheese? No. Stop drinking cow's milk. I don't know. It's just <laughs> bad for you. It just is. Um, uh, um, uh, I would, I would be whole milk because I'm the best. I and <laughs> and question number the second. Uh, the real question that I had not going into this milk chaos. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to, I, I do want to go into a thing. If you're going to drink other types of milk, I would suggest oat milk. It's a little more ecologically uh, I've friendly. had oat milk. I, I've it's never had oat milk. I would rough. like to try it. I think, I this think it's better thing. than almond I'm milk not- be, and to begin with, but also it, it's, it's, it's from what I understand, it's more ecologically friendly. I'm sure someone's going to come out and go, well, that's not actually true. I'm like, well, uh, fuck. Well, almond, <laughs> almond, almond anything. Don't support the almond industry. No. It's very bad. True. Um, true, 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 true. But what was your, what was your question? I'm pretty one of you said that. My, uh, my, my, my other question, completely before the, the milk conundrum, was <laughs> uh, if you could, in, in the same vein as if hell was a place full of minor inconveniences, if you could perform a minor convenience, m- basically, magically, mystically, whatever, uh, for any person at any point in time, but it was only one kind of magic convenience, what would that magic convenience be? Like, what would be that one thing you'd improve for anybody at any time of day? So I'm realizing now that this whole thing, um, not just like the questionnaire, but specifically the questionnaire that you do at the end of the podcast. But also, the whole podcast is super gay. We're practicing, <laughs> and I appreciate it because I, we're practicing insane amounts of self love. Um, I think that between the three of you, um, uh, Matt, Parks, and Tepper, I was able to say probably not, but you've all heard me say that I love you, and I appreciate that. I've been able to express to you that I do, in fact, love you guys. And it's not like this weird gay thing, but it's just like this non-toxic masculine love thing. I appreciate that from you guys. I do like it when we've hung out for the day and then I go get home and then you get home later and you tell me that you got home. Nick, you've literally never done that. I've asked you 14 times. What? Um, <laughs> um, he, he has it on a board. He's got, no, he's got a bingo card. I swear. You, I swear you, I said you. You've done it like, I want to say 
half the time, maybe. Oh, and I think I, I, I think I'm being said. I think I'm being generous when I say fifty percent of the time you've let me know when you got home safely after being at well, my place. You are a generous lover, so. Um, <laughs> But I, I, I'm not even joking when I say that. Uh, ooh, sorry. Pause. I'm playing kosher clicker. We're yeah, in the middle. So we're cool. almost done. Focus. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, it took still playing 15 clicker. seconds. Damn. It wasn't even that long. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys are sensitive. Have you, have you? No. Have you been playing cookie clicker this entire time? No. You can be honest. I, I actually until until you asked the question, I forgot that it was not open. Um. <laughs> So I opened it at that time. Uh, uh-huh. okay. uh, so your your minor convenience and and your minor, admission that you love us and your so so us. so you asked what minor convenience I would commit, which is the opposite yes. of what we've previously asked. Um, the thing that you could just willingly it was go it, right and it was that anybody. thing that made me think of wow, all this shit is gay because I love you guys, but I but I'm using like the opposite of masculine toxicity toxicity to let you know that I do love you, etc. What would I do to convenience your lives? Um, Anybody's lives. It's not just our lives. I, it's I, know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Well, I know. Fuck I know. Them. I know. He cares about us. I know. Okay. <laughs> um, Matt, you go first. Oh, um, yeah, sure, Matt. You can go first. So a minor minor convenience to help people a out. Minor convenience. Like, yeah. like, like, so are we genies that don't like, have masters? Like literally like literally we can see uh, so I've, I've had i've had a little bit of time to think about this one okay and i think it would be either down to literally you have like a spider sense to know that this inconvenience is going to happen that you can then just convenience instead so like for example i i think my answer would most likely be uh i would always i would always allow a person who doesn't have enough to have just enough literally just never have to go through that moment of standing there and realizing that whatever they're paying for they're like however much short because that is one of those situations wherein a person experiences i don't i don't know what it's called the the like the the crushing realization that the person in front of you might think you're poor Oh um, man, you're about to you cry. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's not even. It's not even pride. Like it's a real problem. Like the perception that someone is poor fundamentally changes how people treat. So, them. so I have to ask. And, I have to ask Matt because Matt is so good with his money. Have you ever been in the grocery store and you just slightly overestimated your funds for that month slash week, and you couldn't buy everything that you wanted to buy in the grocery store? What and what's gonna make both of you sad? Up until probably three months ago, there was never a point ever since I was 18 that I didn't have at least $1,000 in my account. So, no. So, uh-huh. no, no. So, that's not going to be sad. I'm glad for that. But have you ever miscounted? And, okay, okay. So, if there's never I've ever, have I ever paid more for a grocery never. bill than I intended? Yeah, basically. Yeah. But, was, uh, but, those are also, but, but the times that I've okay, done but, that, but and it's also, been a significant but, amount, is when I planned for that. It was when I was like, I but, need to but get also, shit. But also more than like, has your has your car, since you've been an independent adult, has your card ever been declined when you needed that stuff in your cart? No. So that's going to be like a little bit, and so the, for for next example, that's going to be a little bit harder for you to understand. Not that you don't get it logically. Up like, here in my high mountain with my dollar bills, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> there is there is a stigma against poor people not being able. Well, not but also. <laughs> Like, even before poor people, there's a stigma against not being able to pay. Like, it's literally something they're worried about in schools is they don't want kids who are getting, uh, like, uh, state assistance, like yeah. free meals or whatever. That's the single the thing that wants to burn this they country down to the ground. They don't want kids to be treated differently for not being able to be fed or not being able to pay for their food. That, and it's a that, serious that problem. That single piece of legislation that doesn't allow kids to always get state assistance makes me want to burn that that that, and i'm not even joking i mean it it got undone so no no no. but the thing is for the fact that it even got for for a brief period for a brief period of time no no for a brief period of time there were hundreds of thousands of people children in the united states that were not allowed to graduate high school or yeah and that were in in in, in the middle school and elementary school that were not allowed to eat because they did not have enough money 
on their county balance card or whatever to do yeah. so. And that alone makes me want to burn down the U.S. government. And that's why it's it's that kind of experience where, like, I've been the coin person. I've been the person who pays in all quarters the, after buying, like, the fact $15 that, worth of the shit. The fact that there's been a child um, that exists in the U.S. that has had to experience the fact that they were too poor to get school lunch. Hey, that's me. And that affects them up until their adulthood. At, they recognize so, the, because, the, no, no, the no, weight no, of no, that. No, no, Matt, no, Matt. literally where shaped Matt, my life is like, Matt, the re- part of the reason was, I penny pinch so much is because my dad was deep in debt. Um, he made good money, but he was so deep in debt and we never had any food, anything. So, I mean, I I scrounge. I am a vulture. I do these things to the point that, as Dion would put out, is excessive. Like, you you, you focus on no, saving and, and, three and, and, cents and on these lights. It, it's a, it's, no, no. Because, theft at no, points. because it's a trauma response. It's not his fault. Because this is the thing, right? Your dad screwed you. But the state shouldn't have allowed you to go hungry. In school. Which his, which your dad was legally required. It'd be one thing if it was just like, you can do what you want to your kids. They can be farmhands. They can be students. They can be... Ah, uh, yes. The 1890s. The, the 1890s, right. Let me pat the rabbit, no, George. The state requires them to go to school, which requires you, I mean, to, to, to be taxed for it to a certain degree. But then the state says, now that your kids are in school, they have to be, they have to be fed. And you have to pay for them to be, have... So, it, and, and it's not like I don't think that... No matter what, kids shouldn't go hungry. But if the state is no. going to require you, if your state nation is going to require your children to go to an institutional school and then say, well, they need to be fed. Well, duh. <laughs> but I didn't put them <laughs> in this school. You need yeah. to feed them. And it's like, no, if you don't have the money to feed them, they go hungry. Burn the country down. And that's how I felt since. Yeah, Matt, exactly. Since you and I were in grade school, and I wanted well, to burn sim- the country yeah, down. In a similar vein. Uh, you said like the the embarrassment of it is that um to that was Nick yeah that, well yeah to, it, to, it, it's to it's to suddenly realize like the world now sees you as poor. yeah but the people who now look at you see you differently. so I I, I can't I relate to that shamed. because do you know what it's like to sit at the lunch table every day and I mean literally every day and never have food and well everybody I am uh I am the so, I'm the gu- dumpster so I'm literally the opposite. Yeah. So people look at me and are just like, "Hey, Nick, I don't want this." I assume you do. Uh, so, so and I'm like, so I'm in the middle. You're not wrong, but I'm. Yeah, offended. but I would sit at the so, table, and the problem, the thing is, it's there's just, just people that you know are anorexic okay. or they don't like to eat, or maybe it's too early yeah. in the morning. But people knew, people knew that I couldn't eat, I couldn't afford it, and I didn't, I didn't have parents that cared enough so, to so not I was buy in the goddamn middle. season tickets to the Eagles that would cost five thousand dollars to give me lunch money. So I was in the middle. We always we until I was in high school. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, until I was in high school, um, I was never on free or reduced lunch. I think for about half of my elementary school, I was on free lunch, and then the other half of my elementary school, and then all of middle school, I was on reduced lunch. But reduced lunch students still had to pay, and that means that they had to put they had to give money to the school. And well, my mom could mostly do that to give us reduced lunch because reduced lunch was in my time. Man, I hate that phrase because it matters now, but I hate that phrase. Motherfucker, we're almost 30. Uh, Yeah, exactly. So in my time, reduced lunch was 40 cents a day, Um, which seems like chump change to an adult. But for a child whose adult parent couldn't give them, whose single mom adult parent couldn't give them that frequently. So my mom would give us not an allowance, but um, lunch money. To put on for the rest of the week on a week by week basis, and sometimes we didn't have enough for every day, and that and so like uh, for for you, you said you didn't have enough sometimes for days. No, no. And I so 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 I'm in the middle. No, I literally where, never ate lunch at school. So Ever. I'm in the middle where it's just like my mom had money, basically to give us because she because because all because so I so unfortunately I'm sorry, Matt. My my mom gave a shit about us. Um, she would. <laughs> I wonder what she, that's like. Yeah, so you had a mom that gave a shit, but you had a dad. I had a mom hey. that gave a shit, but no yeah. dad. So my mom, and I didn't notice until a week later, would just sacrifice herself and would just not eat sometimes. 
And it wasn't just like a day. It wasn't just like a week. It was she would just not eat for who knows how many lunches and dinners. You just eat when you can. Make sure your kids can go to school and have food. Because kids don't deserve to go hungry. Because she was smart enough to know that. And so I'm sitting here thinking, why are we on reduced lunch? That's bullshit. Not, not, as a child, I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss until I was in college. That's not important. Um, Yo, Bob, what the fuck's I'm, this shit, man? But, like, you know, when you're a child, you're just like, why aren't we rich? <laughs> you know, that's what you think when you're a kid. Um, Go to the bank. Oh my God. <laughs> buy more money. <laughs> What's so hard about this? You have a credit. Ask the teller to give you all the money <laughs> in the vault. If you need to, love, tell her that you have a rock in your pocket. I love the idea that children would be bank robbers. <laughs> Can I have all the money, please? <laughs> no, little Timmy. It's, 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 it's locked in the vault. Give me the money, please. Give me the money. Out a gun and aims it at her. I need to have Buzz White here, action figure this year. Wait, please. <laughs> mommy says, Mommy says, Santa made me bad, so I'm gonna just lean into it. It's like, wait, I'm only what child says <laughs> lean into it. I'm, I'm only getting cold this year. Give me the money, please. Yeah, right. So, yeah, slowly it's revealed that the head child is actually an adult. Is actually an adult, yeah. That's what that, oh, god, it's orphan. It's yeah, orphan that's, a, that's just orphan, isn't it? <laughs> no, but um, they're making, a, they're making a prequel to that, by the way. Oh, Jesus, I don't care. With the same actress. I can't. Right, we're done with the um, movies. Dion, go to your point. Yeah, no. <laughs> you gotta answer your question. I was, people. I was, I was in the middle where it was just my mom just gave up everything so she would eat lunch, and I just didn't get how hard it was to pay for two kids on reduced lunch for a per, for a woman who only had a single job. No, it's twenty four bucks, my dude. Twenty four bucks a month. And and I didn't get how hard that might have been on a two week paycheck for a woman in the nineties slash aughts. Obviously, I didn't get that. I was four and seven and ten, right? Like I would never. I, I I still haven't done the math. Like that must have been insane, because I'm barely making my bills and I don't have fucking kids. No, that's what I'm saying. It's if it's forty cents every thirty, or if it's forty cents a, a week per child times, times two thirty times thirty. Yeah, that's twelve dollars. Multiply that by two, that's. 24 bucks that, 24 bucks a month that, which uh, you know to some people may sound like nothing but you're right Dion, but if on a week to week but, basis but 24 on, bucks is a lot but if you're on reduced lunch you have to be in a, within a certain range to apply yeah. for it which means which means you, you, you is, have to be in a range where 24 which was always my problem paid, because my dad was an lot. engineer yeah. he made 80 he made eighty thousand dollars often and then towards the end of high school he made over a hundred thousand I never saw and a he, penny so remember, of it though. And the yeah, exactly. So remember, people, yeah, being being somewhat well set in money does not necessarily a good child. And I will, I, and I will, and I will, and I will say, my dad had a roof over the house. Not all the bathrooms work. There were asbestos. There was problems. But he had a roof over the house. He paid the utility bills most of the time. But he would, he would he make sure that happened. But that that was it. <laughs> he gave shelter, and then. Most of the food I had to get on my own, which often included stealing, because that's the only option I had. Yeah, which, so, yeah. Uh, which is why when I say borderline stealing, don't worry about that. What, what was shit. the question? Shit. <laughs> the, what would your small convenience? Oh to goodness! Anybody oh goodness! In your in your vicinity, be that conversation is so gonna generally would, I, change, gonna change my it, answer. I'm gonna change it just a little bit. I'm going to. Uh, never both children and adult never have to experience that that crushing moment of card declined not enough tender can't can't find the last three pennies oh man uh just because you, i i've you've, i've been that person you ever had to watch your friends go to the classic fair and you couldn't. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! I know no, that's all three of us. Exactly all three of us. About. All three of us can feel that one. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yo, yo, yeah, I get a reduced lunch. I got money. I got. Oh, you ever had reduced lunch and you had a little bit extra left on that week's balance? You get an extra single. Ma what was it? That lady's cookies. What was it, Mama? Uh, uh I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Bring it up. Um, <laughs> you sold them at CVS. I don't worry yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We sold them at CVS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like you ever like, listen, listen. That's that's sad. <laughs> right. 
but it's but here's the thing framing it as that sad is sad in and of itself because it's like no that's america that's that's worse that's, that's what worse. this country is uh, yeah. is for some it's i don't know if i'll be able to feed myself or my children or my kids and for some it's my kid is a shit so i'm just not gonna feed him to hey man my kid just doesn't like what i made to my kid goes like, to school he to should be kid, fed at school my kid literally is eating at somebody else's house this entire yeah. month like i just uh, i just it's uh, it's what uh, it's infuriating yeah. to know that this is like the land of the free the brave the equal and then to see people have that kind of ver- like unfettered variety of experience let's, like let's, that's not what it should let's be. pretend for 10 seconds because i can't do it for more than 10 seconds that every homeless person earned it through capitalist gambles right let's pre- yeah. let's pretend because i because it's the only way that it works if we pretend that every homeless person deserves it then this thought experiment works what about every homeless child do they deserve it why aren't we helping them more and then so even with even even under the assumption that every capitalist person adult deserves what happened to them which is ridiculous because it's not how it works there are children that are going hungry in america every day and i don't understand i do not understand i <laughs> do not understand no but Dion, answer the question my my um, convenience what would you do to help people out Matt, what, what was yours, Matt? I didn't say mine because it's been going off on this tangent about capitalism again. It's <laughs> we, we, relevant. It. It's relevant. It's relevant this time. Um, Don't worry about okay, it. So I so think my I, minor convenience would probably be helping people remember things that they immediately forgot when they came in the room. Fuck you. Oh Damn it. my god. Thank you. <laughs> That would be so helpful for my emu brain. Yeah. Sir, Holy are we, are we, shit. We, there's we, nothing we, more infuriating than like, we, I need to go get my keys. We, and then you walk into your room and you're like, I forgot what happened to you. Picking, and then you go to your car and you're like, fuck, I forgot my keys. Uh, the, yeah, we're going off spider I'm gonna, sense. I'm gonna be, so you, you just sort of know that you can fix this problem. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no. I know. I'm, I'm going, I'm going for Dion. your vicinity. I'm going for Dion. Is this, 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 are we, are we ending this for people? <laughs> are we conveniencing this? No, 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 no. It's like a, when you're in their vicinity, you can undo In their it. vicinity. You, cho- you choose this to do is it. A, this is an aura um, that I have. Yeah, this is an aura. Of, of, I'm unconveniencing people in my vicinity. Un uh, un inconveniencing. Un inconveniencing. Yes. I'm sorry. What's my radius? I'm sorry. I it's, it's literally like if hate you, this. <laughs> you know, I know if Dion needs this, this is perfectly exactly what the questions are for to tell us a little bit about each of us. Uh, for Dion, Dion, I'll say this is a person you have at like ten feet. You have to be able to make line of sight. Uh, it, all right, D and D spells. Okay. Visual components okay, and, uh, have to be able to see okay, the target. Okay, 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 okay. So listen. So from ten from, foot, ten foot radius, straight up. Anybody who enters the radius that you can see no longer has this inconvenience. That is about to experience this inconvenience. You can undo. <laughs> Listen, scale matters when you're making decisions. At any point in time, scale matters. Okay, Matt. There is no recharge to this ability. Scale matters. Um, okay, fine. fine I just fine. know that this is going to be <laughs> one in the long series of questions. No, 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 this is the no, no. this is the only question. No, no, yeah, he, he Oh, you're yes, his question. His question. No, 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 no. He made it he uh, made it fair, specific enough that I could be like Dion questions the question. I'm I listen, I'm I'm a, I'm a bread and asshole. <laughs> I need to know specifically what the ramifications are of the specific specifications. <laughs> um Yes, that. Thank you for that. Matt took you don't forget what you left in the room. Yes. No, no, no! You, if you, if you're like doing something and you walk in a room and you have that like loading screen moment where that yeah. entire thing that you were just thinking about leaves your mind, Matt would be like, "Bam!" You remember it. So, what do people get that I inconvenience them for? I inconvenience them for nearby me. Let's say it's a decent, decent, decent. So radius. for me, it would be any anybody who's about to experience a. Uh, uh, a, a moment of poorness. <laughs> oh, just yeah, a moment. No, great. Like they just find. Yeah, no, like not. It won't cure their poorness, but like that moment where they will be observably poor. 
right. they won't have like they to just, experience they have that just embarrassment. Enough every time they're near you. Yeah, they have just enough. Listen, if I realize that I have just enough every time I'm near you, you're moving in. <laughs> <laughs> we're married, like straight up. I don't, I don't even gay. I don't care. We're married. Oh no, it definitely wouldn't be like a hundred dollars. <laughs> if you're off a hundred dollars, that ain't happening. But if it's like five cents, okay, okay, okay maybe okay. a buck, maybe a buck. And it, and for children, the number is definitely oh, much okay, bigger okay. based on. Based on how I feel about the child. This is this is super <laughs> personal because obviously, um, my thing is, you know what you like slash want around me. Ooh. So if I ask Ooh. you in the group, hey, what, what, we're doing on a group school project. We're doing, you know, so a movie you would, night. You would no because I'm move decision paralysis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What movie are we watching for movie night? What what pizza are we getting? What toppings? Obviously, all toppings. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just like I'm not spending forty five minutes deciding on a movie. You know, in your heart, you know, in your heart of hearts, when when I'm there, you know what movie you do want, and you're able to rank your top three as well. Because oh, sometimes so this the, is actually so like, like a fantastic. I do have a question. <laughs> Does this power yeah. extend to the person themselves, or is Dion unfortunately no. a martyr? So, no. Oh no no! I'm still yeah no I'm a martyr. I'm, I still don't know what I want. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, so it so, does so, not. So, so I, I'm I, the, that was the first thing I thought of. I'm was the, like, wait, can we do it to ourselves? No 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 no. no you can't. I'm the organizer, so I'm asking you, what's your top three movie choices? What are your top three movie choices? And then I'm ranking them, and then I'm choosing the highest ranked thing. Yeah. If I'm at movie night, or if I'm at pizza night, or if I'm at, you know, we're having any a sort of social project, gathering. And it's like, yeah. oh, what do we want to get for lunch? What do we want to get for dinner? What do we want to watch? Everyone knows, and then we can debate based off of that. Interesting. You know what your top? That's, you okay? Or, or rather, okay, okay. I, wait, wait, I wait, really wait. now want. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? You know uh, what your D and D campaign <laughs> where that is your paladin aura. You know what your top three are <laughs> at least. You know. You can now. You, you be, basically be, turn everybody's like ambivalence into a one of two options situation yeah it's wonderful i love it no that's perfect Dion. i think that is a great answer actually i'm glad you went last on that one yeah i would yeah, not have was, thought I'm, of that I'm, I'm the best. Despite, i would not have thought the of that questions i think that's the best yeah. answer I, I would not have thought of that if you guys had one first because it was like matt decided what what did you say matt oh my god <laughs> <I> said, <laughs> if if you walk into a room and you were thinking of doing something and it just popped out of your head. I remind you, hey, you were going it, to the sink to go get a Q-tip. Yeah. And then Nick, what was yours? Mine was uh, never having to experience that that moment of porn. No, so no, no, no. So somehow both of those led to me to getting my thing because it was like I don't have to be any amount short, and any reasonable amount short, and I don't have to worry about what I forgot. But forget what I forgot. No, it was Matt. Yeah, forget what I forgot. What do I want in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Ooh. Matt, I love I love it. I love Dion. I, th- I, I love think Matt. I think me I and Matt was... going to parties would be unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you would be. Matt would be like telling drunk people that they were trying to get to the bathroom. Matt or Dion would just be fucking sitting in the middle of a group of people being like, So what do you want in life? Oh and yeah. sitting there being like I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> Like Dion doesn't know what he wants in life, but he sure as shit knows how to get other people to know I, what they I want. I would become the red skull of just general things. <laughs> what do you want? Jesus. I would become All the right, red skull course. of the notebook. <laughs> what do you want? Right. What do you I want? Do <laughs> Jesus. All right, Mr. Anderson, calm down. Mr. Anderson. Uh, Mr. Anderson. I would watch a remake of the entire original trilogy. Uh, the Star Wars or Matrix? Matrix? Could you imagine if they remade the Matrix with today's graphics? I think that's what they're doing. I mean, uh, welcome to Matrix 4, Electric 4 Galoo. That's not what they're doing. They're continuing the series. With that, actually, there's some debate about that. Some people have theorized that the Matrix... Oh, it we reset. watched in the nineties is a movie inside the Matrix number. We are four. done. Do you think <laughs> I am not <laughs> dealing with this fan theory I bullshit? I will figure out what the no, story no, no, is no, no. when I watch Matt, this horrible Matt, film. Matt, Matt, Matt. Give, give it give it ten seconds. 
We watched The Matrix, and they said that they had reset The Matrix three times by the time that we got to Matrix 3. Do you think by the time that we got to Matrix 4, they reset it again, or no? Last question. No, 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 no. I, I genuinely think that I like this theory of this is the first real Matrix. I love it. I love the idea that the Matrix that we saw in the 90s with our Neo and our Keanu Reeves has been rebooted. The- oh, no. I love that it's an actual movie within the Matrix. Oh, you think it's full, full neat? That's that's what the theory is, is that it's an actual We're just film. doing nothing oh, that was released things. within I mean, the Matrix. That would be up to Lana. I guess that we would have to wait till Lana. Yeah, and I'm just like, wait, so the whole first series was a fake out? I, and the real Matrix has been the I, real world all along? I don't think that you can go... I don't think you, I don't think that you can go full The Sopranos on a movie anymore. <laughs> I think that they ruined that with Family Guy. <laughs> I think Family Guy called them out enough that you can't go full Soprano anymore. Where you just it's been a fake out all yeah. along. It's all been a dream. But uh Whoa. Ooh. Damn. Um I wish that we could do I wish that we were high profile enough to see movies when they came out during our podcast. <laughs> Dion, I wish we were profile enough. <laughs> I wish it, we have not moved past low profile status. I'm sorry. I Nick. believe we're still obscure. We're not even. We're not even low profile. Oh, yeah, you're right. We're 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 not even. We, we are. Un, we're not even India. We're just unknown. <laughs> we're a cult. We're literally a secret among people. I mean, we can just oh, watch and review movies. We could just make those episodes. I mean, what was this episode but that? Thanks, everybody, for listening. We started with The Fast and Furious and ended with Nick's disgusting habit of drinking whole milk by the gallon. And we, just like you guys, have no idea how we got there either. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next Thursday. If you want to support us, we have a Patreon page. I, Rubenus, will stream on Twitch every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I upload to YouTube and have also published two books that you can support us that way as well, if you'd like. The, Je- the Japanese have the expression, I don't fear the man who's kicked... Well, I've done a thousand kicks. I, I fear the man who's... Uh, done the same kick a thousand times meaning that like that culture is based around perfection i understand that people that are just gonna blow us up for not knowing anything about eco- uh, economics <laughs> oh i'm so sorry i don't have four degrees in economy hey man, i know i know about ancient i know about ancient economic e- econ- economics um yeah here we are all stuttering over the word economics <laughs> the th- man i i i went school right. me good i a um, a student <laughs> I, 